But right now, I know it's kind of chilly outside, but ice cream has really come a long way since the days of Baskin Robbins and the 31 flavors. Yeah, as Chris Sadie shows us, a new shop is making a fine art of ice cream, bringing very unique flavors to North Texas while hoping to revive an old one. Give an artist the colors. Um, so you'll see a lot of pastel colors. You know. And they'll paint you a masterpiece. And there's different components that you'll find. Give a chef the ingredients. And they'll feed you a delicacy. Just taking unique flavors that you, you know, don't really find every day. At Baldo's, they do both. There's a tie that binds. And they all have some something to do with ice cream. Ice cream. Basically any flavor out there. You scream. You can almost turn it into an ice cream. The paintings on the wall and the flavors in their tubs were both created by their chef. Whether it's abstract or it's obvious. Different kinds of palettes, but the same recipe. And there's hidden things in our ice cream that kind of sneak up on you as well. The flavor vault is continued here. Chef inspired ice cream. This is going to be a cinnamon cayenne. This one's going to be almost spicy. Not exactly vanilla. We have a category called Why Not? You'll find ice cream like olive oil, fruity pebbles. But for co founders and SMU grads Skyler and Will, the new flavors help revive old memories. I mean, I was here as well when golf's burned down, and I did not think that fast forward two years I would be the, you know, the co founder of a, a spot that's in the same complex. Baldo sits in the same space where longtime SMU staple Goff's Hamburgers stood before it burned down in 2016. They may not be making hamburgers, but now they literally hold that place that was in people's hearts. We're trying to pass the torch to us and, you know, continue families coming in and smiling and having a great time. Because making memories... A lot of them have been taking uh, their Instagrams right on this picture. And ...is a true work of art. For Sadegi, News 8 Daybreak. You know, I have a friend who opened um, Lick ice cream in, they're in Austin and San Antonio, and they have a lot of these like mm -hmm. really interesting flavors too. So I think that's a thing now. And, it, and it's a way to mix it up. Yeah. Maybe you don't want mint chocolate chip and you want something completely different, or if you kind of like that savory flair to it. But I know a lot of Texans out there are like Bluebell and nothing else. <laughs> well, they do hold the, the market on ice cream, I think, in okay. a lot of ways.